What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're going to take a look at the thing that I built last week on Brews and Sprues, which is my new kind of live stream drink and build thing. So I'm going to try to do this on Friday nights if I can. If not, it'll probably be like Saturday nights. Either way. So, and it was the 30 minute missions from Bandai and it is the EXM17 Alto Red. And this is roughly an HG scale being it's 1144th. But 30 minute missions, it's a new IP they came up with. Don't know exactly what it is. Um, but it's basically a new, fairly cheap, customizable, part swapping, total rip off of frame arms <laughs> for the most part. The only way it doesn't rip off frame arms is it doesn't have a center inner frame architect thing. But parts are meant to be swapped across the ways. They have real cheap expansion part sets where you can make something that looks like a Gundam, or you have an almost Master chief -y looking guy there. you got flight packs, you've got other weapons and stuff you can buy. This is basically buying the basic package, no pun intended. So, I had a lot of fun building it. And if you want to watch the live stream after this review, so you can really check it out, by all means, I'll hopefully link it in the thing up there, or at the end titles. But, for the most part, decent CG artwork here. Actually, it looks a lot like a Halo montage there. That's kind of funny. Um, to come to the bottom here, and you've got assembly. So it says follow your intuition and assemble the kit. Should just say instructions. But as I covered in the actual uh, build, it's really neat. They do have it assembled and organized on runner the way you're going to build it. It's actually very, very good. A very good beginner kit. It's actually very much like the Leo, which it's actually very much based on. Nippers sold separately are recommended. Snap fit model doesn't require gluing. Kit can be assembled with color division without painting. Sure. And then you've got action, so the, the head can do, you can head bang a little bit. And the hips can go, like that. They do make that sound. So, and then you've got this little crab robot guy here, and a really funky looking machine gun, and it says the Roy Roy can replace the head. Sure. And then you've got, hey, it can do stuff, and you can throw it on an action base. And then you come around this side, and you got number seven in the line. There's a whole lot right off the bat. There's a whole bunch of different altos. There's the uh, Para Nova or something like that. The whole other one. But basically a repeat of all the things. Rotate real slow. <laughs> Customize. You can combine different units, weapons, body stuff, armor. That's just an example with a multi-booster unit. Option armor for commander. All kinds of other stuff. So and you got color coordinates. You can build a cool red and white uh, American gladiator guy and you got uh, do not stick 30 minute missions guys in three-year-old's faces because it'll hurt them over the course of 30 minutes and you got the top cover box poly bag like have the toilet pspe and no yen cost unfortunately i paid more for this because of where i bought it it was roughly 20 bucks which they are in the 12 to 15 dollar range at max so i did pay too much for it but it was in hand, and the other store I went to didn't have them. So, it is what it is. You know, pay what you pay what you need to for it, but don't get ridiculous. It's not a very expensive kit at all. And you got plastic model kit. HZ. The illustration is by Robographer, Robographer, <laughs> as it were. And now it's blurry because well, autofocus is not a thing that happens. But guys, this was a fun, quick kit. It'd be a pretty quick review if I'm honest. So. Let's go ahead and kick it off. All right, guys, so here we have the Alto Red, and I'm gonna, for the first time, get to use my new toy here. I'm gonna do a quick run around of him. And it's actually really neat. It's super posable for what it is, even though it's small. It's got a lot of decent molded detail some panel lines and holes everywhere for customization and as you can see he's definitely got the like dark maroon he's got the red he's got the purple and of course normal like frame gray but it's pretty neat i, I digs it i digs it a lot and once again if you have built the hg leo the newest version of it you've built this essentially um because almost all of the framework is identical <laughs> it's like the, you build the joints almost in the exact same way and a lot of the other details are very similar not saying that you could just straight up take leo armor and slap it on there 
but you know, there's some interchangeability between this and gun gunpla. You know, uh, the holes are about the same. The hands can hold just about the same kind of weapons. And if you've got any customizable parts and bits from other things like build divers and stuff, you should be able to use some of it at least. But I think it's it's a pretty neat looking kit. All right, so coming off the turntable here, I'm going to look at the head, which does have this nice pink visor. And he does have a mono eye back there that I did hit with a chrome pen. And it is just ball joint mounted here and then a hinge at the base so he can turkey neck. It does rotate freely all the way around. No big deal. You can see like the chest here. Now, I did not do any of the panel lining or anything because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this guy. I might paint him in the future. I might swap out parts, other things. I don't know. So I did not want to do anything final with it. Now, shoulders do have a butterfly effect like so. And you can spin around but be careful or else you end up doing what I just did and popping the shoulder armor off it is just clipped on to here you do have a hinge for the shoulder joint and using bicep rotation that's super tight kind of scary if I'm honest uh, you can get a high teacher there you go get a little bit more upswing out of that now one problem I did just have while I was messing with it I did pop the arm off so the way this is sandwiched it just kind of came off I had to push it all back together so keep in mind that this thing is meant to be used in multiple things so he might be a little bit uh, loose <laughs> things might come apart a little easier than you really want them to single jointed elbow with a whole lot of movement due to that design being just like the Leo ball hinge or ball hinge just ball socket for wrist he does I thought he had some what did I think it had? There we go. It does have a torso rocker, so he can tilt up and pop the chest off like that. I feel like that's going to happen a few times today because things are really tight and it's a little scary. It does rotate at the waist. No hip skirts as such with this version, so he can do a perfect Jean-Claude. No problem. He can do a decent course line and get a little bit of reverse knee bend there and the hips do drop down and you can do it individually so you can get even more kick clearance stuff like that and no butt no back butt skirt means it can move quite a bit as well of course you got thigh rotation you can't go all the way around due to the actual thigh armor so hey there's that double jointed knee that gets you <laughs> it's almost a ridiculous 180. I like that the knee armor stays here and the knee keeps going. Some nice detail work there. You got ankle rocker, very very significant ankle rocker there. Though I'm worried about the way that connects and then trying to move the foot, which is super tight here. And then you got a little bit of a hinge. Well, I don't think that was meant to be a hinge. I think it was just not plugged in all the way. Now that's on a ball joint, so the ankle armor is supposed to move, but like rocker and then ball joint, so you can move the foot around a bit. I'm going to have to pop that off to put that back in. This Some of the design is a little weird, because it's unfamiliar. It's not bad, just weird. And I think it's Porta Nova. Still thinking about the other, the other kid, but... It's pretty neat, and for like a very basic, very basic type of uh, model. I mean, he's lightweight, very nicely balanced, nothing crazy going on. So I dig it. And like I said, there's lots of little details and stuff like here that you can definitely highlight with different paints and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be a good customizable base, along with the fact that you can buy the expansion kits. Now he does come with a few accessories, not, not a whole lot. No extra hands, which I thought was interesting, but he does come with a little machine gun, which of course will have some expansions in the future and other things like that where, you know, they can come apart in different ways. But it looks very familiar in a lot of aspects. I kind of wish that this was actually on a real swing arm, like this could really flip around. I think that would be, you know, something they could upgrade in the future. And in the thing, I did actually customize it, just adding this extra red 
camera here because he is number number red. I like that it has like a fake clip and everything in here or magazine, and there's some pokeballs. Got you know it's a pokeball right there. And being that it's a gun, you can totally hold it. You gotta tuck the you got you gotta tuck the arm thing under there so you can tuck the gun up nice. And I like that it avoided having the handle coming out the side at least for now. Future weapons, who knows? He does come with another weapon that I did m modify. So it was meant to be like a knuckle duster, kind of. But in the future, it's supposed to be a sword expansion, so to speak. So originally, it's supposed to be like that. But I added this extra blade here just for the heck of it because I think it looks really neat. And then I turned that around to help it look like it's a guard or an emitter. Now, the only thing about that is it is a round handle and a square hole, so it doesn't hold it perfectly, but it's there. However, at least in this uh, loadout, in this stuff, he does not have any kind of weapon storage. Now, mind you, he's got holes. In I, 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 I caught myself. I caught myself before Char Chicken could even say anything. I know he was about to pop up. I forgot. You can plug the gun into the back. Just like that. I, ooh, that was close. I could feel him. I bet you could. <laughs> Shut up. Anyways. And he does come with... This little guy. It's called a Roy Roy. A Roy Roy. And being that we don't know what the story is, no idea. It's a little walking mech, obviously. Uh, kind of similar to a mobile worker. In a way, uh, it looks like he can mount weapons and other things to him, like say if he needed to carry things, or it can also be integrated into the actual design here. You can pop the head off, which is on there surprisingly well, and you can pop that on there to get a weird alien mech looking design. Um, and realistically, you can plug that kind of almost anywhere and assuming you could stack these as well so it might be really interesting to uh have a few of these um kind of all rocked up together i have no idea i don't know what just made that noise outside that wasn't a good noise let's see here i want to see if that plugs on oh look at that and you got like a face hugger going on and then plug this in the roof of it unicorn <laughs> oh dear god Oh, and by the way, I did show it off in the thing. I don't know if I have one laying around now. But if you have like an MG beam saber, which I believe this is an HG, yeah. So you can add a beam effect if you've got an HG, or an MG beam saber laying around that has a round peg. It should fit cleanly into that barrel hole. So that's funny. I like that. This is a, an interesting thing that was definitely not on the list to do, but it works. Sort of. Okay, so let's pull that back off. So, I mean, I don't know. There, there isn't enough build-up for, like, any kind of lore or anything like that. Perhaps there'll be, like, a... I don't know if there'll be a manga or a, something for these guys. It's a whole new kind of IP, so... I don't know anything about it. I like it. I don't know that I'm going to go off the deep end. Unless there's some really cool stuff. Now, there are some weapon kits and stuff that I do want to get for it. Um, to build up some cool customs. That's about the only thing I really want to do. Um, by the way, I forgot about this. He does come with a sticker sheet of nothing but numbers. So you can totally build a faction up, however you want to do that. If nothing else, hold on to these for your own Gundams. Alright, so, because it's going fairly quick, I'm just going to go ahead and compare him. Here's the Revive Grandpa that we looked at the other day for comparison. You can see the size there. While he's out of reach right now, I can't really. And just for, because it's always on the desk at this point, there it is, next to an IVO kit that is, well, really tall due to those crazy shoes. So, I mean, you get a good idea, roughly, the size that he is. So, I mean, I digs it. All right, quick break, come back for final thoughts. All right, guys, so... As I've kind of said throughout this, this is a great cheap kit. Don't spend more than about 15 bucks for it on the high end. 
That's about the best advice I can give you. Now, if you can spend about 20 bucks to get an expansion in this, I think that's worth it. I think most of the expansions are about seven bucks. It's, that's a great deal. Almost anywhere you look, that'll be a very good deal. I think as a custom base for different fun stuff, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be real nice, you know, because there's all kinds of different stuff. I've already got a few plans in my head with the different flight packs and stuff like that that I've seen so far. And, you know, just looking at upcoming pre-orders, there's all kinds of stuff. And, like I said, there's different versions. This is just the Alto. There's the Porta Nova. There's the, I think there was another one I saw as well. Plus, different colors for different factions. You get a green one, it's going to look a whole lot like Master Chief, if we're honest. It's going to look a lot like a Spartan. And being that there's crossover that you can use some of these weapons and extra add-ons and stuff for your regular Gunpla... That's going to be even better. So I think that as a good gimmick line, I think it'll be fine. It's not something that you're going to have to collect all of or anything like that. I don't think there's any kind of sense of completionist. I think it's just the idea of straight-up customization and things that you can play with. I think that's about the best you can really go with for these. So, you know, if you've got some of these, by all means, show them off. Uh, the Shoki Discord is being a lot more active now. So there's going to be a whole section on there. I'll probably just add a 30-minute mission section, and if you want to show them off, you can, especially if you're customizing them. And uh, if you have any other ideas or stuff like that, by all means, comment down below and everything like that. Um, and if you need to find them on online retailers, I think everybody's got them. The first waves are probably out, but the next waves are, uh, are coming in. So there's that. But being that they're cheap and they're fairly readily available, I know there's a lot of stores locally that are... Uh, getting them in in the last week or so and people are like look what i found you know they're there guys it's okay <laughs> and had i not been live streaming this thing i think it would have been a much closer or quicker build time now that i've built this one i could probably build a second one or a second alto at least really fast um the layout is perfect for beginners or anybody who really just needs to if you want a troop build this is the way to go um but yeah it's a great it's a great deal by all means go check them out i want to get a white one because white's one of my favorite colors i don't think they have any black plans so far i've seen green blue red white i don't know that i've seen any other random colors so far but hey they can just keep pumping out molds of different colors right right so bandai is good at <laughs> guys if you liked the video give me a big old thumbs up if you uh, have not, go ahead and hit that subscribe -ish button down there. And, of course, if you want to help support the channel, by all means, check out the Patreon. You can be like John, Thomas, and Megan and really keep this channel moving ever so slightly forward every month. And, of course, that really does help to help the second channel out. If you want to, go check that out. The link is always in the end card for the second channel where, it's, where I do all my other non-Gundam reviews for toys, figures, statues, and the like. And, of course, Shoki shirts... You can pick up any of the regular ones, or the Double October gear will be coming out fairly soon. I'm in the middle of all my Double October building right now, and today I actually had to take a day off just to sit down and actually review this and just breathe, because I've been building like crazy. But guys, I will catch you on the next review, and remember, as always, keep on building.